And just moments ago, the arrival of Virgil Ortiz Jr. Sergio, what is it about this 22-year-old that has sent him on a rocket ship to the top? Easy. The power. He's exciting. I mean, that's what, why everyone wants to watch him. But he does it in a disciplined fashion. I mean, he's, he's really he really is an impressive fighter because he's disciplined. And he does everything they, they want him to do. And he's just maturing so fast. And he's walking very slow right now. It's like, uh, what's the movie, Mr. Pink? <laughs> Reservoir Dogs. Yeah, we got Reservoir Dogs here <laughs> in Fort Worth. Soaking up all the face time he can get. His fights usually end early, don't they? Yes, he does. And right there looking like Mr. White coming in. As for his opponent tonight, the former world champion, Mighty Mo Hooker. He's also from here in downtown. And Chris, you can see to his right, one of the pound for pound kings, Terrence Crawford. And a lot of people have been asking Ortiz, does he want to fight Crawford next? He's been answering those questions. Do you feel that perhaps maybe he's looking ahead? No, I don't think that Virgil Ortiz is looking ahead. There's a difference between bringing up another fighter and basically answering questions about that other fighter. And Virgil Ortiz is doing the latter. I think he is focused on Mari Sucker, and he needs to be. I mean, Mari Sucker lost his stiffest test against Jose Ramirez, but he changed trainers. He went to Brian McIntyre. He worked with this group of Jamel Herring, 130-pound champion, Terrence Crawford, one of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the sport. He is getting good work in that gym.